another reason, back to your point of why I wrote the book, there's a couple reasons. One, I'm sick of people getting misinformed, misguided, and misled, right? And I've, I've watched it my whole career. I've watched literally labels lie. I've watched executives lie. I've watched managers lie. I've watched promoters lie. i watch people like, you know, and you've been around long enough to know who I'm going to, not who, but what I'm talking about. Like now, somebody who was maybe popping 15, 20 years ago, like, hey, I work for Rockefeller. I helped break Jay-Z. You should pay me $10,000 to help you blow up, right? And it's like, you and I both know that guy was a clown at Rockefeller, got no respect, and he had no role in breaking Jay-Z. He just happened to be working there at that time. But there's no Angie's list to fucking get receipts to see if this guy's really credible. You know what I'm saying? So like, now whether you're, and I've watched athletes dump mad money and people that lie to them. I watch, you know, even dudes in the hood. I watch doughboys and track kings spend mad money on the wrong fucking way to do things. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've watched my whole career and I sit there like, ah, oh, fuck, I wish I could just jump in and tell them what to do. So it's one, my desire and passion to help people, right? And two, it's also my desire and passion to make the younger generation that don't really fucking get the formula and the tools and the strategies to build a sustainable career that you can scale and become a business for a long term, not just popular now. Remember, you can be pop the popular kid in school, in high school, that's four years. When that shit's over, you ain't fucking popular anymore. You're so <laughs> regular motherfucker. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's the same thing in like in music and in business and in life. I'm teaching you how if you've been popular in school, what to do with that popularity and how to build greatness out of that. Because a lot of people, one of my chapters is, is called um, Famous Doesn't Make You Great, But Great Can Make You Famous. You I love I mean? that. Beautiful. Right. And it's like if you focus on the great, do you think Kobe or Beyonce or Jay-Z or the greatest or Michael Jackson, the greatest that's ever done it, do you think they practiced every day and they worked their ass off because they were looking for likes or views? They wanted to be the fucking greatest and remember forever for being the greatest. And the reason they did all that shit is because they truly had a passion for it. It's what they loved to do. It wasn't what they just wanted to do because they thought it was a means to an end to be popular or make some money today. They wanted to do it because it's all they dreamed about. And it's what they wanted to do forever. They were willing to put in the work. Look at someone like a Tom Brady, right? Mm -hmm. That dude walked in the day he finally got drafted to the Patriots. He walked into Kraft's office and said, this is the best decision you've ever made in your life. I'm going to become the greatest quarterback ever. What did he do? Became the greatest quarterback, the greatest quarterback ever. ever. But and here's the problem that young kids have nowadays. They have this cocky, pompous attitude like, yo, man, I'm the hottest dude out here. If you sign me, we're going to make billions. It's like, first of all, that's a whack way to approach somebody because that's speculative. And secondly, you're not going to make billions more than likely. And then third of all, most people aren't going to put in the Tom Brady work. You know what I'm saying? Or the Beyonce work or the Michael Jackson work. They don't do that. They don't understand. It goes back to what you're saying. They don't understand all the work that needs to be put in to have a long – like, look at Jeff Bezos. You see pictures of him on the internet in his garage <laughs> in, like, the late 80s, early 90s, just starting with an idea. That guy didn't just have an idea, tell a couple people, get really excited about it, do some dumb shit. You know what that dude did? Ignored his girl, didn't hang out, wasn't chasing ass, wasn't doing dumb shit. He was waking up, getting in his garage, coming up with ideas, falling asleep at his desk probably. And that's what I did. And that's what people like you did. That's what Puff's done. That's what everybody that's one major has done. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.